You won't believe the one trait that makes CEO truly great. And it's not working 24-7. Stay until the end and discover why not everything requires your 100% effort. Today we are unpacking a game-changing idea. That the world's best CEOs have mastered the art of, well, laziness. Yep, you heard it right. And no, they are not lounging around watching their favorite series on Netflix. Jim Schlexer's book, Great CEOs Are Lazy, decodes this fascinating concept. But first, let me clarify. By lazy, Jim isn't implying negligence or slackness. He is talking about productive laziness. Confused? Let me explain. You see, most of us believe in the hustle and grind, right? But what if I told you that is not the best of success? Great CEOs instead prioritize where they expand their energy. It's like they have a secret remote control and they press play only on what truly matters. Now, imagine a car. If you press accelerator all the way, you will burn out the engine. But smart driving, maintaining a steady pace, ensures longevity. And CEOs are the smart drivers. They know when to hit the gas and when to coast. Schlexer breaks it down into the six rooms model. He says a CEO's time should wander among six different areas. Strategy, organization, innovation, people, operations and finance. Here's a quote directly from Schlexer. Great CEOs spend their time in the right rooms. And they enter the other rooms only when they need to provide coaching to their executives to help improve the results they are achieving. Think of these six rooms like six types of friends you have. One is great for a deep chat, so strategy. Another is the organizer of all hangouts, so organization. One is the wild card, bringing all new ideas, so innovation. There's always the supportive therapist friend, so people. One who ensures the group plan is executed, so operations. And finally, the one who ensures the bill is always split correctly, so finance. And like any good friend, you know which one to go to and when. But the magic happens in deciding which room to spend the most time in. And that's where the lazy part kicks in. Instead of being everywhere, great CEOs focus their energy and attention where it's most needed, ensuring maximum impact with minimal effort. And another gem from the book. By being lazy, great CEOs realize they don't have all the answers. So they turn to their executives to get the insights and information they need. It's not about being the smartest in the room, but ensuring you are surrounded by the smartest. So what's the big deal about being productively lazy? It ensures longevity, better decisions, and most importantly, healthier, balanced life. Sounds like a good deal, right? All right, folks, here's your power takeaway. Instead of trying to be everywhere and trying to do everything, focus on what truly matters. Whether you are an inspiring CEO or someone just looking to lead your own life, remember to be productively lazy. Prioritize, delegate, and most importantly, take a breather. Not everything requires you 100%, but what does deserves it fully. And here is another great advice how to transform your life with Atomic Habits book by James Clear. Check it out. Before we wrap this up, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives and shortcuts to success. Catch you in the next one.